In this video, I'll demonstrate how to rename wireless clients using the Unleashed browser user interface. This is a feature that many of our Unleashed customers have requested. It allows the administrator to create aliases for clients for easier identification. And it's useful in networks having many clients, especially IoT headless devices, which can be very cryptic. So I'll click on the client bar to expand it. And as you can see, we have a number of clients here. Now what I want to do is rename some of these clients so that they're easier to identify. So for example, this device, I happen to know what that is. I'll tag that and I'll click rename. And I'm going to call this Arlo Security Router. So I type that in and hit OK. And you'll notice that now that client name has been changed. Now this doesn't change the original device name in the database. And I can show that by going to this little gear to the right. And this is my table settings. So for example, this shows what my rows are. And right now you can search all of the keywords with an AND function, or I could change that to any of the keywords with an OR function. I can show an entry of 10 entries per page, or I could change that. But the columns are here. So I'm going to check device name, which is not checked by default, and hit OK. And now you notice that the label name is Arlo Security Router, but the device name is what we had originally. So changing the label doesn't change the device name. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off to give us more real estate here. And I'll put it back to the default status. Now for some reason you wanted to return this to its original name. You would tag this again, go to rename, and just hit return with a blank name and you'll notice now that it goes back to the original. So I'm going to rename this back to what we had. And it's called Arlo Security Router. And I'm going to pick one more, this device here called Living Room. And I happen to know that this is a Roku device. So that happens to be a Roku TV device. So this is very useful in networks having many clients, especially IoT devices, which can be very cryptic. So it's very easy to change the name and to make it easier to find the devices. So let's say I had 100 devices out here. I mean, here we have only seven or eight devices, but if I had 100 devices out here and I wanted to search, I could search on Arlo, put that in, and it'll find that device. Now that's a lot easier to search that way than to put in some cryptic name that we had originally. So we'll take the search off, we'll expand that. Another way of looking at this information is on the access point tab. So if I close the clients and I click on my access points and I'll go down to my master AP here and I can show client information and that'll show a list similar to what I saw before on the clients list. You'll notice that the name is here but there's no device name. Once again I could change this and I could add the device name. I click that OK and there again, we have the device name and we have the label name that we've just called it. And as a note, if you've changed these names using the browser interface, if you log in with a mobile app, you will also see these name changes. And you can also change the names from the mobile app, and we'll show that on a separate video. So this completes a short demonstration on how to rename wireless clients using the Unleashed Browser user interface.